So we are back here at the $10,000 truck. So what surprises are in store for us when we take a closer look at this truck? We have it here at the Auto Nation Recon Department, about to dissect it and see exactly what it needs done. So what's going on guys? Today we are here at AutoNation in their reconditioning department. This is the area that the truck or any vehicle really is going to go to ensure that if it stays on their lot, it's in a safe and good condition for a buyer. Typically, an auto dealership might take a vehicle in, let's say this truck, and they say, well, the value of getting it up to snuff into a good, safe position is going to really be more than what we feel we could make off of the truck, and it doesn't make sense to keep it. It's going to hit wholesale, it's going to hit auction, and you may very well buy a truck like this directly off of somebody else's lot with no work being done to it. At AutoNation, that's not how they roll. Their whole goal is to make sure that if you buy a pre-owned vehicle from them, it's in a safe, mechanically sound, and good condition when it leaves the lot, so you're less likely to have any type of issues. Now, of course, any vehicle you buy that's pre-owned, you could have a power steering pump that works great while it's in the shop, works great while it's here, but then a thousand miles down the road, it's just decided to give up. And that's not anything that they can really find or diagnose here because it hasn't failed or it doesn't look like it's failing when you buy it. That being said, this is the truck that we're using for our $10,500 segment. Again, 2005 Chevy Silverado extended cab Z71 truck, four-wheel drive. This truck had some beach stickers on the window, so we know that it has been exposed to salt, salt air, and sand. But overall, the condition of the body panels are outstanding. We didn't find any rust underneath. There were no areas where the rust had eaten through it. There's some surface rust in some areas, but those are things that the buyer said, I really don't care much about. I just want a truck that's mechanically sound. So I'm actually here with the manager of this department, and he's going to explain some of the things that they discovered and what they're doing to ensure that when this truck sells, it's in a good, safe condition. So what are some things that we found that were wrong with this truck that needed addressing? They see the uh, interlock brake light was on. Uh, we found some uh, fluid leaks from an uh, interlock brake module, and we are replacing these items. As you can see in the wheel area, we've already replaced the uh, interlock brake sensors, and uh, underneath, which you can't see at this point, is uh, basically an analog brake module that was actually leaking fluid which mm -hmm. over a period of time could have led to brake failure so we have to take care of all the safety features first before we do any cosmetic work and in this case we basically have addressed all the safety issues and we may have to do without doing some of the cosmetic work in order to be able to you know sell this vehicle to a customer absolutely and i know originally the quote to do everything including the body work they wanted to do everything on this, and it was going to be about $7,500 worth of just fixes as well as safety-related repairs. We ended up opting for about $3,600, which addresses pretty much all of the safety issues, any type of mechanical issues, but it leaves some of the cosmetic imperfections in place because the buyer wasn't too concerned about those. He basically said, I'm fine with those. I could repair those later. I just want a truck that's in great shape. And here's the key, guys. AutoNation would not sell this truck unless they did the $3,600 in repairs. Now, they didn't charge the customer for that. That was just built into the price that the customer had already agreed to when he looked at this vehicle. And that's a great reason why buying from companies like AutoNation are very good because you know you're going to get a vehicle that, for the most part, they really dug through to find out what might be wrong and tried to address it before it hit their lot. Now, a lot of people say, this truck's not worth $10,500. I agree. I think it's probably, when everything's done, worth closer to $16,000. The reality is that you can't buy a truck, a pre-owned vehicle with 100,000-ish miles nowadays for the price that this buyer got this truck for. It's very difficult to find any pre-owned truck for that $10,000 magical price tag, especially one that only has 105,000 miles and is really in this type of condition. But they have put so much time and effort into making sure that this vehicle is restored. It really is amazing that you can get a deal like that and you know that you're going to drive away with a truck that's mechanically in great shape. So let's take a look around this truck and see what, uh, what it's all about. This does have a 4-inch lift on it is what we believe. And it does have Pro Comp shocks on the front and back. 
They're actually in pretty good shape. They're a little dirty. Let's try to look inside. It's just the interior, the condition of it. This truck, honestly, on the interior, looks like it only has maybe 60,000 miles. It's in really, really great shape. The previous owner obviously took care of it. It looks like a non-smoking vehicle. None of the panels are cracked. All of the buttons are still in great shape. You don't see that wear through like you see on many pre-owned vehicles. So taking a look at the inside, as you can see, there's actually a speaker box that was in here, and there's a power amp. That's back there. I don't know if the uh, the buyer's going to want to keep all of that, but it's all in there. Here's another shot of the dash area. It has an aftermarket CD player in it. And as you can see, it's just it's in really good shape. And the vehicle has not gone through any type of detailing. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind, that a detailed vehicle hides flaws. One of the things when you look at this truck is that it didn't go through detailing when we first saw it. So we got to see how the truck arrived at this dealership. So the undercarriage of this truck, you see some what appears to be you know flaking and things like that. But that's actually that Knox coating. That is the undercoating that GM includes on their trucks. And once that comes off, you're going to see some surface rust. You're going to see a few spots here, but none of it is nearly eaten through. It's all literally on the surface. And it's not what I would consider bad rust at all. You can actually see up here, like that, this flakes off a little bit. That is just that wax coating. That's not something that you should worry about. The frame underneath it is still solid and there's no rust that's actually dug into it. So overall, the body of this truck is in really, really good shape. And if you look underneath these panels here, you also don't see any rust. Nothing's eaten through here at all. And this is one of those areas that if you're buying a vehicle that's been on the beach or been out in sand or salt air, this is some of the areas that really, really start to rust through quickly because these are relatively thin sheet metal panels. And as you can see, all the way down, there's absolutely no rust there, which means that the owner of this truck did a admirable job of being sure that they took it to a car wash, cleaned all the salt off of it, cleaned all the sand off of it before they took it home and let rust start forming. So we're raising the truck up now because we want to show you a few things that were replaced underneath here. One of those being the four-wheel drive actuator. When this truck came in, we really couldn't tell that four-wheel drive wasn't working, even though we put the vehicle in four-wheel drive, because you really don't know. You're going to hear the transmission and the transfer case shift, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's in four-wheel drive. And a lot of people don't realize that until they actually need four-wheel drive and it doesn't work. Well, they identified that it wasn't working here. They didn't wait for the customer to get the vehicle, then bring it back and say, my four-wheel drive's not working. So this right here is the four-wheel drive actuator, and this is essentially what is used to engage four-wheel drive when you put it in four-wheel drive with the shifter, right? So that was replaced on the vehicle. This is really in good shape for what I would consider a vehicle that's been to the beach. Everything looks really good. Yeah, what we were just talking about is when they got this truck into the shop, there was a lot of concern that it may not be a sellable truck by them, that it would have to go wholesale or auction because they thought they were going to find a lot of rust underneath it. Simply because when you see a bunch of beach stickers on the front of it, you automatically assume this thing's going to be caked with salt and sand underneath it. And they were surprised. They say that they've gotten a lot of newer vehicles in here that have had significant rust damage. And this truck is in really, really good shape considering. I mean, for 2005, what would you say as far as overall condition of this truck? Would you say when it came in, I know it needed some work done. I know you guys are addressing all that. But overall, what would you say the condition of the truck was in when it arrived? I would say probably a, a four. Four? Yeah, four out of ten. Okay. Then uh, when it leaves? When it leaves here, it's going to probably be at least an eight to nine out of ten. So four to ten when it came in, it'll be at least an eight to nine out of ten when it leaves. And that's really, really cool. Now, the other thing is that the customer wanted... Y'all could have fixed the whole truck to make it look brand new, right? Right. So that's the purpose of the recon department back here at AutoNation is they can take a truck like this and they can make it look brand new if you want it to or if they just decide to do that before putting it out on the lot. 
because obviously people want a truck that they know is in really good shape. And the other nice thing about working with a dealership like this is when they quoted to do the work, they didn't quote just a cheap base coat of paint mixed in with clear urethane. They quote base coat, clear coat, the professional grade type of paint quality that you would expect. They're going to blend it properly. They're going to you know, take the proper preparation. It's going to look like a new truck when it leaves, and that is really, really great. Guys, right now is a great opportunity to subscribe to my channel so you can follow along in this project to see exactly where this truck is going to end up when it gets completed and if the buyer likes it. I think he's going to be thrilled. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again soon.